Hello guys, Martins here and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today is a text effect tutorial and I show you how to create perfect metallic chrome text effect like this. I think it's quick and pretty easy tutorial so I hope you enjoy it. And of course at first we need to create our background. So click file and open new document. Set width at 1000 and height at 500. Resolution 72, of course. And I have background contest as background color, so it's black. But you don't need to worry about it. Because I want to change my background. I want, I want a texture or something like this, something different that I find some nice texture. And if you want it, I put the link in the description. I use this. And using move tool, I move it to my main project. But of course it's too lighter, so I want to... Add a new color. Delete layer mask, click elliptical margi tool, and create something like this, this ellipse. Set feather at 200 pixels, click right, select inverse, and click this small icon to add layer mask. Okay, maybe it's still too lighter, I, I'm not sure. But if you think it's too lighter, create new layer, go to solid color, fill it with black. And change opacity to 50% or less or more, whatever you prefer. And okay, I think our background is ready. Uh, so now time to write a text. Click this horizontal type tool. And select your part where you want to write. And write some text, for example, Chrome. For this, I use Lucia handwriting font type and size 150 should be okay and maybe it's too still too lighter so 60% should be okay okay it's time to edit our text so click right on this text layer and go to blending options at first bevel emboss set depth about 150 and size at 10 now time for shading at first we need to change our glass contour. Change for this called ring double. And select this anti-aliased to make the smoothness glass contour. And change highlight mode to color dutch. Now you can see the difference, but I add some other stuff. So it's pretty important. This color dutch is pretty important because cause the difference will be later. And shadow mode at overlay. Now time for contour. And change the contour for this. Called Gaussian.
then stroke, size at one, position center, and time for our fill type, change to gradient, and now we need to edit the gradient, uh, alternating black and white. Something like this. It should be okay. I add more white. And okay. And change style to diamond. Scale at 150. And okay. Now, time for inner glow. Change color to white and blend mode, color dodge, opacity at 100%. Technique, precious, size about 10, and range at 95. Now go to satin. As you see, it started to be normal. And now you, you just can uh, edit the gradient a little. For me, this, this type is okay. But sometimes you can use a different type, of course. Then color overlay and change color to black. But we need to change opacity to 35 now time for outer glow pretty important and gives it gives you this this shining outer glow change color to color white blend mode soft light should be better opacity 100 and spread at 5 and size about 120. Now quality and change range to 70%. And now is just time to drop some shadow. So add some distance. I think the 50 pixels is okay for this and to make it real we need to add some spread about 20 or 25 and size about 20 it looks okay I think and it's all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope my English wasn't so bad and everything was understood. Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel for more Photoshop tutorial. And I hope you hear you soon. Thank you.